Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JQL and Jira search tutorial, we are going to learn about the smart querying within Jira. Now, smart querying is a feature provided on top of the quick search, which will allow you to search issues very quickly within Jira. And it is such an efficient feature that you should know smart querying to make your life much easier and find the issues quickly, which are, which you want to search uh, very frequently in your day to day projects. Right. So within this quick search, if I click here and I type in the keyword, say, for example, my right, if I hit enter, you will see that in this query here, the assignee is equal to current user has been automatically populated. So basically the my keyword in smart querying is basically saying that wherever assignee or all the issues that are assigned to myself, the person who is logged in. So if I want to quickly search what all issues are assigned to me, then I'll simply instead of saying assignee is equal to current user in basic search and advanced search, I'll simply go to the quick search and type in my right and hit enter and it will give me all the issues that are assigned to me because I'm the logged in user, right? So this is very quick way to search all the issues that are assigned to me. Now let's explore this smart query a little bit more. And if I enter here, say for example, done, right? What happens? So we're done. You will see that it gets mapped to the status, right? Because status contains different statuses and done is one of the status. So that gets mapped to the status. Okay. Okay. There is another column for the priority, right? So if I say just highest, okay, just type in highest and hit enter. Let's see if the results are displayed. So yes, highest got mapped to the priority. Okay. So similarly, there are other fields as well that are mapped. Okay. Not all of the fields are mapped, but then there are some other fields as well that are mapped. Okay, so now how we are going to use smart querying. So if we want to just get all the issues that are assigned to a particular user or assigned to myself, I'll simply say my and it will give me the result of all the issues that are assigned to me. If I want to get all the open issues, right, or all the closed or completed issues, right, so I can say my done. Okay. If I say my and space done, so my gets associated as a current user and done gets associated to the status, right? Because we know that here you will see that it automatically formulated a query status is equal to done and assign is equal to current user. So my gets mapped to the current user and done gets mapped to the status. Okay. So if I simply say my done, then it shows me all the issues that have been completed by myself. Okay. If I say my done and just say story right so let's see what happens we know that my and done will be mapped let's see whether story gets mapped as well right so you'll see yes it did so issue type got mapped the story got mapped to the issue type because we know that if we put the valid issue type in this smart query then it gets mapped to the issue type status is done and assign is equal to current user so basically with just three keywords in the quick search Right. So my done story, I am able to get the quick results of all the stories that have been completed by myself. Right. If I say my done bug, right, another issue type, it should give me the exact same result. Basically not exact same result, but it will give me the bugs that have been closed by myself. Right. You will see that it has been, it is displaying the bug that has been closed by myself. Right. So this is basically what the smart querying basic is and how you are going to search issues very quickly based on either the type or reporter status priority etc so i'll be covering a lot more detail in the upcoming tutorial that you can search based on the components etc um, based on the created date etc so there is a lot of possibility wherein you can use the smart query to search the issues right so we have looked at the my keyword right then we have looked at the uh, whether the issue is open or closed so we have looked at the done and then we have looked at the the type of the issue right so if i say my done story and then also i want to say that the priority of the story right i can simply add that i want to only get the stories that are being completed by myself right so story which are done by myself and the priority is medium right so my done story medium if i simply 
enter that, it should still give me the results if there are any outcome, right? Yes, it did. So you'll see all the medium priority issues are being displayed in this result, right? So priority is medium, assign is current user, and, and uh, the status is done and issue type is story, right? So this is a brief about the smart query. Go ahead, play around with my and different keywords that are there and I'll cover a lot more detail in terms of other smart querying options that are available within Jira in next tutorial. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching.